Okay, question 13, getting towards the end of the paper, but hopefully we're still picking up some marks. Here it says, in a magic square, the rows, columns, diagonals add to the same number. So it doesn't matter whether I'm adding up down here, whether I'm adding up across here, or adding up diagonally. Any horizontal, vertical, or diagonal of three all adds up to the same. So, well, if we add down here, 10 plus 5 plus 6 makes 21. And if I add it across here, 6 plus 11 plus 4 also equals 21. So I just checked that it works out fine. So the magic number is not 3, as most people think. It's actually 21. In this case, the magic number is 21. So in every other direction, it should add up to 21. Well, if I, add up, if I do this one down here, well, I know that... Um, 9 plus 4 makes 13, so I know that x plus 9 plus 4 should equal 13. Oh, should equal 21. These two together make 13, so that means my x number has got to be 8. So that is really an 8 there. Now, if I add it up in a different direction, well, now I can spot, I can do a couple of different things. But if I went across here, I know that 5 plus y plus 9 has also got to equal to 21. Except 9 and 5 adds up to 14. So to get to 21, y must be 7. So actually, there should be, I could replace that with a 7. Now, I could do this last one in all sorts of different ways. I could add up going down, I could add up dive, I could add up going across, I could do anything. Let's go across here. So now I know that 10 plus w plus 8 has also got to be 21. 10 plus w plus 8 is 21. Well, 10 plus 8 is uh, 18, so I need 3 more to make my 21. Let's check in the other direction. 7 and 11 is 18. So W must be 3. Okay, so we're going to add up and make sure that uh, all the numbers add up to 21 with the magic square. This one was actually quite an easy three marks.